Come check it out. It's almost done. It, it, it looks pretty awesome. You should come look. I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And this, and this is, is Dixie, Dixie. And we're Love Hut for Life. We've now been on the road for 101 weeks in our self-built sliding camper. That's right, guys. And for the past five weeks, we have been hanging out at Angel's Rest Hikers Haven in Virginia, helping our friend Doc convert this little church bus behind us. You want to tell them what we're converting it into? Uh, not yet. Guys, y'all be sure and comment below to tell us what you think and hit that thumbs up button for us. Good morning, good morning 700 actually for us in this big yellow house on the road. I'm pretty excited about that. Today is also day 26 of converting the shuttle bus. I put the stain on the ceiling last night or at least the first coat of it in the dark. So I haven't seen the inside yet. You wanna check it out with me? Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Y'all hang on, this week's gonna be fun. We're finishing this puppy up. Time to disassemble, huh? Taking it apart. Ooh, the second coat looks nice. So pretty. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's the spot. Me and Dixie find ways to entertain ourselves while he works. So I've been staining all day long. We got rain coming tomorrow afternoon, so I'm trying to get as much done as I can so that I can hide in the bus while it rains. We're about done with sunlight for today though, babe. You got yeah. a few more minutes. There's more coming, don't worry. <laughs> Pizza delivery. Have we mentioned how much we're going to miss this build site? They have delivery. That's fantastic. I hear it's pretty good too. They never deliver to the forest. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Don't you just love taping? Me neither. Good things are coming though when the blue tape comes out. Yeah, you got some more staining to do today. Oh, there's tons more to do. It depends on what the weather does. We got some bad weather headed to the Virginia mountains, so I might be forced in some time off. We'll see. Yeah, the radar's not looking great and neither is that sky. Maybe he'll get some work in before it happens though. Stainy. You want to hold this? No? You don't want to help? Okay. See you later. I'll tell you what, the weather in Virginia, super un unpredictable. I thought it was gonna rain, then it wasn't, and then it was, then it wasn't. So needless to say, I moved all our stuff inside and now it's not raining, so I'm trying to finish up this cabinet and I'm gonna call it an early day.
rain's still coming down softly, but a little too much to even consider staining anything else today. I think it's time for a day off. What do you think, babe? I guess I could use one of those. Dog, you wanna work on the bus today? I don't think she wants to work on the bus today either. I think she wants to go back to that bed. Wanna go to the bed? Okay. <laughs> Good idea, Dixie. Good morning, dear. Good morning. It's not exactly sunny outside, but it's not raining. It's not raining, and that is the best I can hope for right now. It's looking pretty in here. I am starting to tape the roof line so I can finish staining out the other half of the walls. And we'll go ahead and get a first coat on everything, and that way we can do our second coat and be done with the stain business. So with the sheer amount of wood in this bus, I was looking for a little different way to treat this wood. Normally I do it the old school way and you stain and then you do poly coats over it, but that takes a bit of time. I came across this product called Cabot Gold. It's generally used for outdoor use, so it's UV protective as well as it waterproofs, waterproofs the wood. The first coat is a penetrating coat, the second coat is a finished coat, and then it's done. I've already finished the ceiling in here and it looks amazing. The amount of time it cut down on treating this amount of wood was insane. But yeah, Cabot Gold, check it out. Stuff's pretty. The walls look really good, but are you doing okay? You look a little dizzy in there. The fumes are a little high. There is a larger amount of off-gassing with any of these stains and sealants. So make sure it's well ventilated where you use the stuff and you have time to let it off-gas and dry out before living in it. Maybe that's why Dixie's sleeping so much. Did your space get a little tight, babe? Yeah, yeah, it's a little full in here. But we're moving on. This is my last part that doesn't have at least one coat on it. We're getting close. I'm not gonna let a little rain slow us down. It's definitely not done for the day though. Hey look, the sun's still up and I'm done. With the full coat being on there already, there's nothing else left to do, and I don't charge to watch paint dry, so I'm done for the day. Goodbye, bus. Good morning. There's no sun. I'm using a flashlight during the day. I'm trying to get the second coat of this Cabot Gold installed so that we get a nice finish on all of this stain. Right now it's kind of dull with the first coat. Meanwhile, I have my rock tumbler stopped. We've had it going on phase one for a week now and I'm excited to see what is in here. It doesn't look like much now, but I'm hoping once we get these cleaned up, we're going to have a whole lot of pretty to look at. There we go. We've got them all cleaned up now. They are looking a whole lot shinier than they were when I put them in there last week. It's now time for round two, and I can't wait until they're all done and I can make jewelry out of them. These are going to make some impressive pieces.
Y'all look, it looks like unicorn blood. Good morning. As you can see, it's a bit wet in Virginia and it has been for several days. It's slowing me down a little, but not completely. I managed to get the second coat of stain on the walls yesterday. So I had time to dry overnight and I'm gonna continue moving forward and working on the countertops today. What you doing, Shane? I'm robbing seat belt bolts off of these extra seats to make sure we have a full set inside the bus. Safety is important. Oh wow, Shane, you've gotten a lot done today. Yeah. All the ceiling is up. All the lights, the, the coach lights, as well as the house lights, which will run off the 12 volt system, as well as the speakers. Shout to the fans. Coming along. You got all of the hardware on the cabinets. Yeah, all of these put into. We're getting close. Guess what guys, the sun is not out this morning and we don't think it's going to be at all today. Shane is doing a little bit of sanding and uh, he's going to get a, a second coat of stain on the countertops today but that might be just about all accomplished. but when it comes to seats or anything that Shane needs a second hand with, that's where I come in. Today, Shane is going to hang out down there while I hang out in here with a wrench and get these seats bolted down. So, I'm fishing, not the fun kind either. I'm using a fish tape. I'm trying to pull this wiring through the wall. I was off by a few inches of where my box needed to be for my electrical drop. Come check it out. It's almost done. It, it, it looks pretty awesome. You should come look. Oh, wow. It's all nice and clean. Oh my god, Shane, it looks awesome. <laughs> 60 degrees. Hey, don't get on my countertops. <laughs> So the weather held out today. We got a bunch done, obviously. We got the seats bolted in, the faceplate put on. Um, I started mounting the water pump, the accumulator, test, it, test fit the sink, as well as the faucet. And I also went ahead and got everything set up for the electrical outlet there up front as well. So we are pretty close to finish with the exception of wiring this thing up. We've got a couple more coats of this poly uh, by Minwax. It's not going on quite how I thought it would. It looks really cool, but it's an interesting product to work with. So we got a, at least one more coat of this stuff to go into. Not bad for a week's work. No. Especially not in all that rain. 
I think Dixie approves. <laughs> The weather around here has not been participating with us and slowed us down a little bit but that's okay y'all make sure you come back next week to see the final result of all this hard work i've been putting into this short little shuttle bus i'm certainly proud of all of the work that he has accomplished this week guys we want to take the time to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been following this build and all of our other adventures so far if you haven't already done so be sure and hit that thumbs up button subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments if you are looking for a way to get a hold of us, you can contact us on Facebook or Instagram under Love Hut for Life, or you can drop us an email at lovehutforlife at gmail.com. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.